it's bright. What fun it is to ride and sing a sleigh. Yeah. It's supposedly the Christmas season, even though it's only November 17th. I don't know. Yeah, so anyway, this video is about some of my struggles with Asperger's syndrome. And the top book that I recommend for people struggling. In fact, this book is, has a much wider appeal than just Asperger's. But to give you some background, my personal story is generally the biggest problem I have is brain function. So I just can't think straight. I have brain fog. It's just like there's this this wall of difficulty, even on the most menial tasks. Like, I mean, not so much today because I've read this book, but getting out of bed, socializing, working out, going to the store. So let's get right into it. The premise of the book, it's written by a guy named Dave Asprey who I don't know if he has Asperger's, but he says he has a, he had Asperger-like symptoms up until his late 20s before he started implementing the tactics outlined in the book. When I was reading the book, basically what Dave talks about is strategies for improving your mitochondrial function. Because basically what happens is when your mitochondria, the energy producers in your cells, aren't working correctly, you lose your ability to think because the neurons don't fire properly and it kind of creates this noise in your head and you don't have glucose available for willpower and making things happen. And that would explain pretty much all of the problems I've had. And he also outlined some side symptoms like bloating, digestive difficulties, etc. And I was like, that sounds familiar. And it also kind of ties in with, if you've read other studies on autism, the gut flora and the gut bacteria affecting brain function and so on and a variety of things. If you want to actually function and feel good or just whatever, whatever problem you're having, in fact, literally everything can be tied to mitochondrial function. Like I, when I started applying the tactics in this book, I even noticed that my depth perception and an ability to hear things got better. It's crazy. So essentially, his idea is lowering inflammation in the brain. And he goes through a series of tactics like sleep, exercise. A lot of, a lot of it I knew, but the details, guys, the details are very important. Kind of like a person who makes a hit song versus a person who makes an okay song. Oftentimes, it's just a few key details that one person applied that the other didn't. See what I'm saying? So... The most important thing that I got from this book was installing Flux software on my computer, which lowers the, um, let me show you, it lowers the, you can see my face getting red, it lowers the amount of blue light coming from the screen, and blue light, I figured out, tires me out. I also got some, I don't have them with me, but I got some blue blocker glasses that are an orange color. And while I'm, when I'm out and about during the day or whatever, if I'm having trouble focusing, I notice that if I put on these blue blocker glasses, suddenly I can focus a lot better. Now, the second thing the diet, that the, the book helped me with was diet. And the same thing, you know, I, I was feeling terrible every day. I had no energy. And the truth is your diet has a massive effect. But you have to understand that just changing it one day may not have the huge effect at first. For me, it did. But over time, it takes your body to time to adjust. Okay. Now, there's a reason the book is several hundred pages. I can't go into all the details here. So you're going to have to read it. It's cheap. You can go on Google Play and read a free sample of it. You can probably go to the library. I don't know if the library, you could probably get them to order it though, really, if you're out of money or whatever, whatever your issues are. I'd strongly recommend this book. Even, for, even if you're watching this, you don't have Asperger's, it's useful for everybody to have better brain function. And I, I even suspect that if everyone were to apply the tactics in this book, it would change the world overnight. I'm not even joking. I am not joking. Because, it, like for, for example, it improved my amygdala function, so I was able to deal with fear a lot better. That was a massive change. Massive change. All right? So... Go check out the book, guys. And in the meantime, I'm going to listen to some Jingle Bells. Hey.